In this tutorial, we are going to hard code .ass subtitles to a video using Handbrake. Hi, my name is David from freelancerinsights.com where we believe you should never stop learning. Here's an example of the expected output of what we should expect from our subtitle file and our video file once you use Handbrake to bind that inside the video. So let's just double click on the sample file. With the recent now you can basically see uh, these uh, the subtitle file with a dark uh, background. If I click on play, update on the YouTube interface. It's now easier than before to download YouTube transcripts. Hi, my name is David from freelancerinsights.com, where we believe you should never stop learning. This video is an update. Now basically, what you see is that you can see the subtitle file is uh, is down here and up here. And this is a, is a .ass file that has been burnt in to my video. And uh, I used subtitle edit to prepare uh, the subtitle file, the .ass. And for some of the positioning, uh, for example, the upward positioning, I used uh, IG sub to do the positioning to show you that you can do different kinds of positioning uh, for your subtitle file. So basically, uh, for everyone to just get a hang of it and how it looks. So that's what we are intending to do at the end of uh, this uh, video. So basically the requirements are you need your video file, that is this file, this one doesn't have the subtitles burnt in, and your .ass subtitle file, that is uh, .ass subtitle file is advanced substation alpha subtitle format and uh, .ssa is a substation alpha format, they are similar uh, subtitle formats, uh, they are usually considered uh, similar formats. So basically you need your video, your .ass or SSA subtitle format, and you also need an updated version of Handbrake. And uh, the version I'm using is version 1.3, and uh, any, uh, I'll, I'll put in links in the description below if you need to see the uh, particular applications. Uh, so the first thing we need to do, we need to open up Handbrake. Let's just open it up. Once Handbrake is open, all we need to do is uh, we need to import our video file uh, inside Handbrake. So we'll just come here and just drag and drop. Uh, this is the file that ha doesn't have the Bantin uh, uh, .ss subtitle file. So we just uh, do that. And the next thing you need to do is that you need to set the preset. And I've already walked you through the process of burning in a .srt file inside Handbrake. Uh, in a previous video, you can check it out from the card above. So, uh, since my video is in a 1280 by 720, I'll go for the general very fast, and everything is sorted there. The next section I need is the subtitles. And uh, in the recent past, we only had import SRT subtitle, but in this updated for uh, in this updated version, and you can check it out here about well, version 1.3.0 we have the option to import subtitle. If I click on it, I'll get the option to import SRT, SSA, or .ass. So what I need to do is just select this uh, .ass and click on open. And once I click on open, my file will populate. Uh, and as I mentioned in the previous video, Handbrake needs to sort this issue out so that we can see the length and the title uh, clearly to know what subtitle file one is, is burning in or embedding inside the video. So once you do that, you need to tick the burn in and then uh, you need to select the save as option where you want to save your file. I'll just browse, go back to the desktop uh, where I have the other file and then I'll say uh, hard code ASS sub sub dot mp4 and click on save. Now once that is done the next step is just click on start and code. Now basically that's all you need to do and your file will be hard coded that is your subtitle file ASS subtitle file will be hard coded. Now, the reason why you may need to use a subtitle file in the format of ASS or SSA is that 
ASS and SSA uh, caption formats support text formatting, text positioning, uh, styling, uh, fonts, different fonts, different colors for different subtitle files that you're working on inside the same subtitle. That is, if uh, you want to position a, a, a caption block at the bottom and you also want to position another one at the top or on the side in the middle, you can easily use or export your subtitle format from one of the subtitle editors, for example, IG Sub or Subtitle Edit, using the .ass or .ssa subtitle format. So basically, it helps you to have that flexibility in that you can style your caption files whichever way you feel you want them to look and feel. So basically, that's why this was really important to the video community and freelancers. And since it's a free option, then it makes it easier if you have projects that require open captioning that involves a lot of styling and all that and you'll not need to cough any amount of money to do that. So basically our encoding is done and we'll just need to review the file to see if it is uh, as we've seen in the demo uh, at the beginning of the video. So basically this is the file. I'll just double click on it. With the recent update on the YouTube So here it is hard code ASS sub interface. It's now easier than before to download YouTube transcripts. Hi, my name is David from freelancerinsights.com where we believe you should never stop learning. This video is an update to my video on how to easily download YouTube subtitles. Now basically we can appreciate that the subtitles are burnt into the video and they adhere to the styling uh, of the subtitle file. Uh, that we already uh, we already uh, uh, worked on. So basically, that's how you can easily hard code a .ass or a .ssa subtitle file using Handbrake. This is a fast look video of the process with the recent update to Handbrake, and I really appreciate the work that Handbrake has done towards ensuring that we have the option to import .ass or .ssa subtitle files. If you're interested in learning how to caption and subtitle videos, kindly enroll for my course from the description below. Until next time, thank you so much for watching this video. Never stop learning and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.